Okay, guys and gals, now uh, I apologize for the the scruff. Hey, man, I'm living in a van, right? You know what I mean? So uh, where we're headed to now is kind of important with regard to the other video that I made at Sloss Furnaces in Birmingham. Uh, anyway, it's a surprise, but it's related um, but this place is in Tuscaloosa, so that's where we're heading now. Uh, I think you guys will like uh, what I'm going to show you, and I'll give you the rundown on uh, the relation that it has to the Birmingham pig iron um, furnaces. Alrighty. Alright, guys. We're on the campus of the University of Alabama in the uh, art quadrant. I want to show you uh, what I came here to show you guys. I have no idea what this is, but it's visually interesting. I mean, and check out check out the welding on it. I mean, that's a lot of welds, guys. We're on the campus at University of Alabama right now. Another very cool spear art piece. Nothing as awesome as Goldie the Fallen Robot, but still cool. Okay guys, so this is Goldie, and when Sloss Furnaces were closed in 1971, this was put on the campus to represent the fall of the pig iron industry. So it's a giant Iron Robart. It looks like the cartoon movie, The Iron Giant. But how cool is that? How the history ties together. Like, this is awesome. Iron Man Down. My take on this, actually, is the air was so bad that it even caused Goldie to die. As a reminder of the pig iron industry that once was, the industry that built Birmingham, Alabama, was brought down by the Clean Air Acts of the 1970s. And to all of our benefit, I'm sure. Okay, now guys, I can't show you everything because I just don't have enough on my LTE network to support you know everything. But if you get a chance, check out the campus of the University of Alabama, man. It's a beautiful place.